Hello collective, welcome back to the channel. This is your intuitively awakened star seed here with a message for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is going to be a timeless message. It is a general reading and it is for all zodiac signs, you guys. So only take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for entertainment purposes only. If you know, you know, y'all. Yes, we're going to go ahead and hop in here and see what is going on for the collective. Always use your discernment, you guys. For your readings, please make sure that you're checking your birth charts, your natal charts, checking your placements, your aspects, your conjuncts, um, so that you get the most from your readings and always use your discernment, okay? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude, Palo Santos as well, y'all. Thank you so, so much. We're going to go ahead and hop into your message here and see what is going on for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Um, definitely picking up, it's like, the energy I'm getting here, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, I'm getting the energy that somebody's definitely like at the end of like their patience. Someone's patience is running out with a situation. That's the energy I'm getting. Like somebody's over it, right? This could be you or your person, okay? But we're going to definitely check the energy and this could be a separation and no contact or you could be in union with the person. So you guys, as always, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future, he, she, him, her, people, places, things. Let's go ahead and hop into the message for the collective. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this message. During this reading, any negative dark energy, please return to sender. And spirit, what is the message for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine? What is the message for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine? What is it that the collective needs to know? Somebody, I feel like I'm getting the energy that someone knows that you are, you're over it. You're starting to pull your energy back. You don't have the patience for a situation. I'm getting hot and cold energy off and on. Um, someone that's inconsistent. I feel like there's a lot of heavy emotions here. A lot of love here with this person. I feel like this person does care for you. It's like there's something hidden. I'm picking up on a confession, right? For some of you guys, this could be a separation. Someone is not over this separation if you are in no contact, right? Or this person, you guys could have been in separation over the same issue in the past. You guys could have separated over the same exact issue in the past. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please take it how it resonates. And I feel like this person realizes that you're definitely at the end of your patience with this. That's what I'm getting. So something's different here. But it's like this person's energy is really good. This Divine Masculine's energy is really good, what I'm picking up on, right? It's really, this person, I'm getting loyalty. I don't, I'm not picking up on like dark energy here with this Divine Masculine. I am picking up on some type of sneakiness though, surrounding this Divine Masculine, right? Yeah, that's, it's like there's an energy around this Divine Masculine. Now, you guys, if you're in no contact, this person's definitely missing you. I'm seeing that. Um, but I feel like there's some energy. It's the energy around this Divine Masculine that I'm picking up on. Okay? There's another energy here. 
Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more. <laughs> okay. See, I was picking up on something to do with, for some of you guys, this could be a family issue. This could be something to do with um, a paternal issue. Um, and now I'm seeing court or legal issues, right? Surrounding this connection. So there could be something to do with a child's parent I'm picking up on for some of you guys. There could be something to do with family, right? It's like this person, they're being good, right? This person, they're being made out. It's like there's illusions. There's somebody involved here that's making this person look bad. They're playing games. You see that? What? Look, why is law enforcement coming up and somebody playing games? Okay, this could be someone's ex, spouse, I'm seeing marriage, or this could be where your connection is going. There could be something to do with marriage. You could be married. I don't know. Look, see, and I kept hearing when I was meditating prior to this reading, don't give up on me. Like, don't let me go. Don't. Don't leave me or don't let me go. Something like that. Don't give up. And I'm seeing here, weather the storm. Now I just heard this will pass. Weather the storm, y'all. Somebody's playing games here. Someone is playing games, all right? So this divine masculine I'm getting does have some type of, it could be, um, some type of family responsibilities or something like that. There's somebody that's using, it's like someone is using something over this divine masculine or trying, they're manipulating them, right? Okay, what else we got here? This has been causing ongoing conflict, arguing between you and this divine masculine. And again, I'm seeing missing keeps coming up. So even if you are in no contact or if you're still in union, this divine masculine is missing missing the way things were between you guys. It's like this divine masculine wants to confess like what is really going on here. Because I feel like something has caused an issue in the past where it separated you guys, but it's like this divine masculine has to keep dealing with a particular situation and I feel like it's getting out of control. This divine masculine's been off and on, hot and cold, trying to hide what's going on because they don't want to jeopardize your connection. And for some of you guys, you could already be in, in, in no contact. Somebody's in isolation. I was getting ready to say isolation, but you could be in no contact. You could be in separation. That's why I keep seeing this missing, but it's like this divine masculine is awakening, right? That they need to establish some type of boundaries or something like that, right? It's like this divine masculine's kindness his, is being taken for weakness. Okay? I feel like, or someone is misreading this divine masculine's kindness. And it's, it's snowballed. It's, it's out of control now is what I'm getting, right? See, somebody is like really out of pocket is what I'm getting here. Look, come see me. I feel like this divine masculine is being inundated with messages or direct messages like it's it's like somebody this divine masculine was helping someone for some of you guys this divine masculine was helping someone and it's like they misread this divine masculine's kindness they're operating this divine masculine's operating out of their divine energy that's why you guys are in frequency divine feminine your vibrational match. This divine masculine 
is operating in their divine energy, right? In their essence, right? Yeah. And somebody's misreading them. And now it's, but this has caused problems in the past. This is why this divine masculine is keeping this hidden. And I feel like this divine masculine, it's coming to a point now because this divine masculine really sees that you're like at the end of your rope with this, right? And this divine masculine realizes that they're going to have to come clean with this, right? And let you know exactly what's going on. But I feel like it's caused problems in the past. And this divine masculine is afraid. Or like, they just, it's like, almost like damned if they do, damned if they don't. Type of energy, right? Mmm. Stay. This divine masculine, if you're still in union, or even if you're separated, like this divine masculine doesn't want this to be over. They don't want this to be it. This is an infinite love, like eternal and infinite love. What I tell y'all? There it is. Somebody's misreading this divine masculine's energy. And again, this could be an ex, right? That's what I'm picking up on. This is some type of feminine energy that is misreading or misjudging this divine masculine's kindness, right? They, they're, and they're taking it for weakness. They feel like this divine masculine is weak for them or something like that no 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 but i feel like this person keeps trying to look i can't make this up infatuated this person's infatuated with this divine masculine look look at these two cards together so i'm getting seductive energy i'm getting infatuation okay i feel like this person They want what you have with this divine masculine. They want with how this divine masculine is with you. This is someone that has observed in the past how this divine masculine looks at you, how this divine masculine treats you, right? So this is not even, I mean, I feel like this is someone, they're like, it's like delusional energy is what I'm getting, but it's turning into games or something like that. This divine masculine can't, The law, it's like if this divine masculine keeps this a secret or keeps this hidden, right? This someone that caused problems in the past, right? And here these same problems are again. I feel like these games that this person played in the past cause you guys to separate. Now it's happening again, but you may feel like because of what happened in the past that it's like this divine masculine, you can't trust them, but it's like they're being manipulated here. I'm getting like a false narrative or being manipulated because whoever this feminine is, they know that you definitely are woke to their interests in this divine masculine. You know what they're up to. You do divine feminine. This divine masculine, I feel like, it's like they were keeping up with their responsibilities, something like that. Mm-hmm. Something like that, right? But now it's like this person, they want it all. They want this divine masculine, which you have with this divine masculine, right? Child. Mm, 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 mm. It's like they're delusional. I'm seeing that infatuation, right? And it's like, when I'm seeing that, come see me. That's like a message. That's like this person sending this divine masculine a message. Literally. Literally. What? I can't make this up. Come see me sending messages. 
this divine masculine could be acting very strange with their telephone, um, acting strange with their media. It seems like they're hiding something. And I feel like that's what's causing, you know, chaos, conflict between you guys because you see this divine masculine starting to move funny, starting to act suspicious, right? Like something sneaky is going on. But this divine masculine has been trying to cover this up. But now it's becoming more overt with this, this karmic third party. And they want to confess to you because it's like... If they don't... It, it's like this divine masculine feels like they have a chance at salvaging this connection if they tell you what's going on. That's a connect, confession. This divine masculine wants... They want this union with you, right? Oh, this person. Child, I'm so, I'm trying to keep it PG here, y'all. This karmic is something else. And they're doing things while you're with, when this person is with you. You know what? This divine masculine might not even get these messages from this karmic third party until they're with you. And this karmic third party knows that's where this divine masculine wants to be is with you. Ciao. Oh. When the cat's away. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. This is some sneaky energy. Sneaky, messy energy, right? Something to do with the community. There could be something to do. I'm getting with the community, with this karmic third party. There could be rumors going on, right? Spreading false narratives, conjuring up lies, deception, right? I feel like I'm picking up on the messages or what this karmic is saying to this divine masculine. We got Scorpio energy here. Scorpio energy. Someone could be a Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. Wow. They want to keep you fighting. Something happened 2023. Something is significant for some of you guys with 2023. And then honesty, right? So you could have had issues, major issues in 2023. Something to do with shopping? That's for some of you guys. Yeah, something to do with shopping. In this karmic third party and this divine masculine... That's for some of you guys, right? Petty energy. Anything I'm getting that is appearing to be this divine masculine being in union with this karmic third party or this divine masculine. I don't know why I'm seeing shopping, taking them shopping, buying them stuff, spending money on them, whatever. This is an illusion. This is an illusion. This karmic third party is doing this on purpose. This divine masculine is not, they're not doing this. They're not. What else we got? Friends. This divine masculine tried to. I told you. Look at that. He's mine. Unhinged energy, right? They can't accept it. The truth hurts. This divine masculine's in love with you. Come through, spirit. That's a confession. I'm seeing communication coming in, right? Mm-hmm. This divine masculine, I feel like there's details, right? And it's going to make sense. Everything's going to come together. Ooh. Is 
something's happening soon. I'm seeing as soon as possible, ASAP. Uh-huh. Yeah, something's happening soon. ASAP, I'm seeing here. And then I'm seeing here, trouble in paradise. See, that's this karmic third party. They think it's funny, right? Trouble in paradise, causing trouble. This could be something that they're saying to someone. Oh, I heard there's trouble in paradise with divine feminine and divine masculine, right? Pick me. Pick me energy, low vibrational energy, right? Mm, 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 mm. What else we got? Aries energy showing up. Aries energy. Emperor energy. This divine masculine knowing what they want. Oh my goodness. What else we got? What else we got? Why am I seeing that Netflix and chill? It's like they keep trying to get this divine masculine to come towards them. And it's really a setup with this divine masculine because it's like they're going to spin it and use it against this divine masculine. Because there was something that happened in the past. They spun it. And I feel like you found out the truth. And I feel like you guys reconciled in the past. They're back to their antics again. This karmic is back to their antics again. Y'all. Ooh. What else we got? See? Back to the drawing board. They're back to their old games. That's what I just said. That's this karmic third party back to their old games again. The same thing that came in between you guys in the past. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Creating that doubt, right? Coming in between this destined connection. Divine feminine, divine masculine, your divine counterparts, right? But this karmic third party wants it all. So this divine masculine has been nice to them. Whoever this is. Whatever is going on here, whatever, I'm hearing something to do with arrangements, something to do with something arranged, this divine masculine, doing something to be nice. It's the type of energy like, okay, this divine masculine agreed to give this person a ride or something like that. And it's like, next thing, it's on social media. Look, me and so-and-so, we out and about. Meanwhile, this was something that was arranged. So they're twisting this narrative. That's just an example. Please take it how it resonates, you guys. But that's just an example of how this person is spinning things, right? Yes. Conjuring up lies. This person's ready to confess what's going on. I'm seeing I'm ready, yup, to clear the air. Look, if only you knew, if you only knew what's going on behind the scenes, but I feel like Divine Feminine, you about to find out. Yup, yup. Mm. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You could be finding out this weekend or something could have taken place over the weekend. The weekend could be significant. This is a timeless message, but the weekend could be significant, right? Yup. What else we got? Please give us more. This is a very sneaky, diabolical energy is what I'm getting. Please give us more. Excuse me. Please give us more. Already taken. Already taken. So this is speaking to this divine masculine's loyalty with you. Whether you're in separation, whether you're together, still in union, whether you're in no contact, okay? Already taken, still loyal to you, okay? Yes. 
This Divine Masculine is still loyal to you. I feel like this Divine Masculine had told them this at one point in time. Look, I'm already taken. Back to the drawing board, something to do with the legal. This Divine Masculine could be experiencing legal issues because of this. This could be someone that they ghosted in the past. And that's where this revenge is coming from, right? They can't process this, right? I'm getting something to do with processing. See, I'm getting, again, the first time you found out the truth. It's the same thing. This person's back up to their same antics, Divine Feminine. Yup. It's like they got something over this Divine Masculine's head. I don't know why I'm seeing snitch for somebody. They're like threatening to tell something or making up lies, right? Threatening to do something. Wow. This Divine Masculine is very attracted to you. I see that physically, right? Very. There's a heavy physical attraction. They have fallen for you really quick in the beginning is what I'm getting. Hmm. Please give us more for the collective. Please give us more for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're, you're going to get a confession because this Divine Masculine wants you to know about this deception that's going on. This is, this Divine Masculine is literally being cornered, right? And ultimately, this Divine Masculine realizes this is going to cost them this union with you forever, this deception. <clears throat> this Divine Masculine is going to come clean, right? But this is like what this karmic third party is afraid of. Because if this divine masculine comes clean with you and tells you everything, then they're going to lose their power. Okay? This karmic third party is going to lose their power. Yeah. A new cycle beginning. You mean the world to this divine masculine, right? Mm-hmm. They're going to lose. It's it's like they're not going to have anything to manipulate the Divine Masculine with. As long as the Divine Masculine reveals what's going on. And you mean the world to the Divine Masculine. I see that. And the world is definitely that new cycle beginning here, right? Ciao. What else we got here? Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. See, I feel like the first time, I keep seeing that, the first time this happened, you guys worked your way through this, whatever this issue is with this karmic third party, but now it's happening again. But see, this is the Emperor. Didn't I tell y'all with the Aries energy that showed up? This Divine Masculine told them, already taken. This Divine Masculine is loyal to you. Uh-huh. But it's like since this divine masculine's loyal to you, there this divine masculine is not allowing themselves to be manipulated, right? I'm getting that. I keep getting that, like back to the drawing board, right? Since this divine masculine is not allowing themselves to be manipulated, this person is really becoming unhinged, right? <clears throat> Pardon me. Please give us more for the collective. Charming energy. Mm -hmm. Charming energy. What else we got? Please give us more. Mm. Something is... Y'all... Something... Why am I seeing shop now? Something to do with shopping. Shop... This is a protected connection. This divine masculine is very protective of this connection. There's something, it's like this karmic could have bumped into this divine masculine in um, a mall or a store or a shop. 
and I feel like they twist things, right? So here they are taking a picture, snapping a picture, and putting it up on social media like, oh, look who I bumped into. Yeah, we're out here at the mall or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, this person is very manipulative. You have to be very careful. I'm getting, you have to be very careful with any information like rumors and things like that because this person is very i'm getting manipulative diabolical type energy what else we got here mm. what else we got which you don't know what okay y'all i can't make this up i cannot make this up and I'm seeing heartbreaker here, right? But look, what you don't know, you don't know following. I almost said something. This person is really unhinged. Something about the past with this divine masculine is what I'm getting, but what you don't know... This person could actually be stalking, following you, following your social media. Look at that. Oh. Or you may know it. Intuition, Divine Feminine. You're, you're very intuitive. Not too much gets past you, Divine Feminine. Right? This Divine Masculine wants your forgiveness. Right? And I feel like they. it's like if this is something they have to do. For some reason, whatever's going on, this Divine Masculine has to deal with this karmic third party so again it could be a child's parent something like that or something to do with family or some type of obligation that the survive masculine has right but they're going to want your forgiveness the survive masculine because they didn't let you know sooner right but this survive masculine felt as though keeping this hidden would have protected this connection because remember we've seen protection this divine masculine is very protective of you your emotions this connection and it's also a protected connection We're talking about divine feminine divine masculine yeah hmm what else we got please give us more for the collective nothing else matters now it's all about you it's all about you. Yup. What else we got? Mature. That emperor energy. This divine masculine is no longer in that low vibrational energy. There's a lot of growth here. Especially since this divine masculine has come in contact with you, divine feminine. Yeah. This confession I'm getting is definitely going to change how you see this divine masculine, right? I feel like it's going to change how you see everything. No other love but yours. Look at that. They don't want no other love. No other love but yours. Mm-mm. What else we got? A lesson. I'm seeing teach. Teach a lesson. Oh. This karmic third party thought they were teaching a lesson? Chow. There it is again. There's something to do with a public venue. And again, it could have been shopping or something like that. See, that keeps coming out. Shop. Rich. Something to do with money. Rich. It's like they feel like you're living the life. This karmic third party wants your position with this divine masculine. It's like I'm seeing abundance when I'm seeing rich. Something to do with abundance. Something about how you're living with this divine masculine or how this divine masculine treats you, right? Yeah. What else we got? They notice how this divine masculine... This divine masculine may spoil you, divine feminine. Yeah. 
But I feel like also too, see, here's the caveat, right? This karmic third party notices how this divine masculine loves on you, how this divine masculine looks at you. It's like they've seen this. They've been able to see this, you two together. And they want that. And it's like this divine masculine spoils you, but divine feminine, you have your own stuff going on as well. So it's like they feel like it's like this karmic third party feels as though everything you have comes from this divine masculine, like lavishness, a lavish or something. You you like nice things. Capricorn energy. You're a very hard worker, right? So you work really hard for like what you have, right? Yeah. But they feel like this is all, that's why I'm seeing rich or wealthy. They feel like this is all coming from this divine masculine. See, these is messages I'm getting. Home Alone. What that one movie? What is that movie? Oh, it's like you always home alone. Why am I getting that, right? Like you always home alone. Yeah, because it's like they, they, I'm getting like the messages. Why am I tapping into these messages from this karmic? I feel like you need to hear it, right? This is what's going on. So this is what I feel like you need to hear this because this is what this divine masculine doesn't want you to see. They don't want to cause any type of discord with you. I feel like for some of you guys, you've recently gotten back on the right track. And then this happened, right? So now th this divine masculine looks like they're hiding stuff. I mean, they are hiding stuff. But it's like you guys have recently rebuilt things or reconciled or started rebuilding things. And now you're back in a bad spot with each other, right? You're not in a good place right now. And again, it could be a separation, a no contact, or you could be in union. And this divine masculine feels your energy being pulled back, right? What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Okay. Hermit. This divine masculine is not, there's, that's what I'm saying. Like, look, I'm telling you, I'm not getting bad energy, bad vibes on this divine masculine in this reading at all. Like, I feel like this divine masculine's intentions are very pure, right? Very pure intentions, right? Yeah. Well, and now here's that confirmation you not them, right? They want you not them period y'all let's go ahead. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards here. Let's see what we get here. I want to see what we get with regards to the Zodiac signs. Yes, spirit, please give us more for the collective divine feminine divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. What is it that Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine needs to know? That you are this Divine Masculine's wish fulfillment, everything that they want. They're fully focused on you. Heavy Sagittarius energy on the board. Yep, Heavy Sagittarius energy. You see that? This Divine Masculine focused on you, right? I feel like you guys recently, again, I'm picking up on that energy. Whomever this is resonating with, for some of you guys, you recently reconciled with this divine masculine, right? Uh-huh. And then here, it's this karmic third party knew it. But they want the life that you live with this divine masculine. They want the life that you live with this divine masculine. I'm getting Taurus energy as well. Uh-huh. Very stubborn. Wow. I'm getting very stubborn, focused on what they want. Yeah. What else we got here? 
please give us more for the collective divine feminine divine masculine please give us more resistance and again look this karma could be a taurus or have taurus in their chart mm-hmm resisting right and i feel like also too that resistance is this divine masculine with this karmic third party because they they're resisting their offers they don't want them right it's you not them they want you not this this karmic third party we all go with heavy taurus energy they're all, you know, you could have Taurus in your chart. This divine masculine could have Taurus in their chart. Um, the karmic third party could have Taurus in their chart. Look at this. But I know one thing this divine masculine's happy to have you. Triple twos. Triple twos. Union. Partnership. Harmony. Yes. I'm seeing adaptable, right? May need some flexibility here. Let's see here. Discovery. We got heavy Sagittarius energy. And we also have heavy Taurus energy here. Yup. Please take it how it resonates, y'all. What else we got for the collective? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. What is hidden here? Please give us more. Caution. Caution. I'm getting caution. Virgo energy. That's a... Caution, Virgo energy. And I'm also getting trying to block. It's like trying to block this divine masculine's growth or their ascension. This divine masculine is no longer in that low vibrational energy. And it's like whatever this divine masculine would do in the past, this karmic third party is trying to use that either against them, something that they used to do in the past. Where's this coming from? Something this divine masculine used to do in the past or their lifestyle, they're trying to use it against them or trying to get this divine masculine to step back in their old lifestyle. They cause them a lot of problems. So they're trying to. It's like they're trying to. I don't know what it's something to do with this divine masculine's lifestyle. They're trying you're using their it's temptation. Something they're tempting this divine masculine with. And remember, we said resistance, resisting temptation, come through, resisting temptation, oh, that's all over now, whatever it was in the past, it's all over now, I'm seeing 10-10 came to an end in a new beginning, right? This Divine Masculine is now in, they're in frequency with you, Divine Feminine. Look at this. I'm seeing here, see? A new beginning. New energy, right? A rebirth. A rebirth is what I'm getting. And chariot, that chariot. There could have been, I don't know what, see? That's what I'm picking up on. There's something that was going on in this divine masculine's past. Okay? Now, I just said chariot card. I'm seeing that cancer energy. I'm like, why am I saying chariot card? 
Chariot card can represent a um, police vehicle, a law enforcement vehicle, okay? Yeah. And remember when we were starting the reading, I was seeing like legal issues, something to do with the legal. It's like this karmic is trying to get this divine masculine to get in some type of legal problems or to step back into a lifestyle that could cause legal problems or either they could be trying to create some type of legal problems, right? Some type of setup, y'all. Please take it how it resonates. I feel like that's for some of you guys, right? Uh-huh. Ciao. See, this divine masculine's woke. I'm seeing criticism. Oh, you changed. You're not the same person. Like, why are you acting like this? You're, you're this, you're that, right? They're trying everything to get this divine masculine to step back down into this lower vibrational energy. That's what I'm getting. And this divine masculine's concentration is on you. But you see that speaking, speaking things out, right? Trying to get this divine masculine caught in a web. You see that? Mm-hmm. Gemini energy. Gemini energy, y'all. Saturn. Something to do with Saturn and Gemini. Now, that's a heavy um, parallel right there, or a heavy connection. Ooh. Because Saturn rules Aquarius. Mmm. They can't manipulate this divine masculine. Uh-uh. Not at all. It's like they're saying things. There could be rumors. Something's going on here. Something with, with this karmic third party is saying. And I feel like it's backfiring. It's coming back on them. And there's a number three here on this card, third party. So it's like the lies, the web that they spun for this divine masculine to catch this divine masculine in their web, it's backfiring. People are going to see, remember we seen the community, something to do with the community. Their lies are going to come back on them. Mm, I see that right there in that card. People are already side-eyeing them. Speculation. Cancer energy again. I'm seeing speculation here. Uh-huh. Something to do with... People are starting to wonder, like, what is up with this karmic third party, right? And their rumors and their lies is what I'm getting. Now I'm seeing... There's a little moth. They just came passing through. Monitoring spirits. Mm. Monitoring spirits. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more for the collective. Give us a couple more in here from this deck. Ego control. Ego and control. This karmic third party is trying to control this divine masculine. It's not working anymore. Mm -mm. It's not working. What used to work in the past, it's not working anymore. It's all backfiring. What else we got? Something to do with money, fortune, finance, abundance is what I'm getting. I'm seeing fortune here. And again, Leo energy showing up. We got Leo showing up here. An abundant beginning. 
I feel like when this divine masculine confess this confession from your person, it, it's going to change how you see them or how you see this situation. And it's like, if you're in separation, they never got over you, right? If this is a separation, you could have been separated for an extended period of time for some of you guys. This divine masculine has never gotten over you is what I'm getting. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Never gotten over you. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Yup. Mm-mm-mm-mm. They'll never get over you. Uh-uh. They're not letting you go. Please give us more for the collective. Trying to escape their past. Trying to escape their past. Pisces energy. Be a Pisces Mars. Please give us more for the collective. You're unique. You're rare. This karmic is like... I feel like this divine masculine has, you know, in the past, it's like you're different, you're unique. I'm seeing that again, Aquarius energy showing up here, very eccentric, unique, rare, loving energy, right? Yeah. So I'm getting that. This karmic third party, there, this is this divine masculine is used to that type of energy. What attracts this divine masculine to you, divine feminine, is that you are unique. They're not going for this affair. See that? Mm -mm. And that Aquarius energy stands on business, right? This is not happening. And then we got that emperor energy, Aries energy. This divine masculine knows what they want. Yeah. And it's not this karmic third party. It's you, not them, right? Mm-hmm. What else we got? Whoever this is, if you're separated, they never got over you. And they're still trying to clear the air is what I'm getting. Okay? They're not letting this go. For some of you guys, you could think that they're letting this go. They're not. Uh-uh. This is someone that was trying to escape their past. I don't know why I keep getting that as well. Mm-hmm. What else? They getting ready to clear the air. This is something where you guys separated after an argument, some type of dispute, a quarrel, something like that. And again, there's that cancer energy showing up. So cancer, somebody has cancer in their chart um, or your person could be a cancer. Yep. Or this karmic, right? Mm. Follow your heart. This is going to require you to read between the lines, Divine Feminine. Intuition. Follow your heart. Follow your intuition. There it is. Look, cancer energy. Yeah, cancer energy. Showing up and showing out. Heavy cancer energy, right? Follow your intuition, right? Look, flirting, flirtation. That's this karmic. Public side eye in them. Publicly, they're headed for some public embarrassment. They're lying to the public. Look, bluffing. You see that? Bluff. Huh, Pisces energy. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Gemini energy. This divine masculine is devoted to you. Yes. Devotion to you. Libra energy, that loyal energy, charming energy, right? You're about to get the truth. Le Libra energy showing up here. You're about to get the truth, okay? You're going to find out exactly what's going on here, what the T is, okay? Yeah, this divine masculine, this confession from your person, it's going to change how you see this whole situation. But I feel like this divine masculine knows that you're definitely at the end of your patience, right? 
with this, this back and forth, off and on, hot and cold, and this person back and forth in their energy, whoever this is, please take it how it resonates, right? But it, they've never gotten over you or this situation. This is burdening this divine masculine. You see that with the 10 of wands? This is burden, this divine masculine. What else we got? Please give us more. Difficult ending. Never got over you if you guys are separated. You see that? Page of Cups. So keep in mind, this could be past, present, or future, you guys. Um, but I'm seeing Page of Cups. Bread crumbing, right? Bread crumbing. Or this is the Sabine Masculine slowly coming towards you. Again, remember I said it? Here's this, I got a little, the tiniest little moth floating around here. Monitoring spirits, be mindful of who's around you. Definitely be mindful of who's around you, who you're talking to, who you're giving information to. Because this little teensy thing just came out of nowhere, right? Yeah. You could have energies just coming out of nowhere, people like, you know, people that you don't really talk to now all of a sudden are striking up a conversation with you type of energy, monitoring spirits, yes. Follow your intuition, divine feminine, high priestess energy. Follow your heart. Mm-hmm. Follow your heart. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay, what the heck? All right, now, what we got here? Taking action. Equal give and take, right? <laughs> They're coming clean. They're clearing the air. I feel like, you know, it's like, this divine masculine was withholding information because they were protecting this connection. But I feel like, you know, it's not fair because you're like in the dark here is what I'm getting. Or there's all of these gray areas and I'm seeing things are about to be balanced out. You know, it's like this divine masculine hoping that, you know, your union is strong enough to withstand this, right? Because I feel like this has been an issue in the past. Yeah. And you guys had to rebuild from this, right? That's what got this divine masculine in their head. Mm-hmm. But one thing's for sure. They love you. You see that? This divine masculine's deeply in love with you. Oh, there we go. There's the chariot card. Taking action to come towards you, even though you are cold as I don't know what, y'all. Queen of Swords. Would the King of Swords come through, y'all? Look at this. King of... <clears throat> y'all. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, and you're facing each other. Y'all about to have some conflict, some passion, some passionate conflict. I feel like you about to cuss them out. I'm getting you going to be cursing this divine masculine out. And this divine masculine is prepared to be cursed out. But this divine masculine, that king of swords energy, they don't play. They're standing on business. With whatever is going on with this karmic third party, they are standing on business. And I'm getting they could have severed ties. They could have definitely severed ties with them. Yeah, look at that. Y'all, what else we got? told you communication <clears throat> this divine masculine look at this look at this i'm seeing here communication coming in this divine masculine look they got too much on the line here 11 11 the four of wands that's a commitment ceremony okay that's a commitment ceremony and this divine masculine wants that it's like divine feminine. You love this divine masculine like no one else ever did. This divine masculine does not want to lose you. They're not trying to jeopardize this connection at all. Nope, not at all. Look at that, period. And what did I tell y'all? 
what did I tell y'all? Spying energy, monitoring spirits. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they want to know. This karmic third party wants to know what's going on so they can, it's like they disrupted your connection once before. And it's like, I'm getting that by this divine masculine being silent and not communicating what's going on, they're like running amok, right? Conjuring up lies and things like that behind the scenes. Yeah. But once the truth is out, once this confession happens, powerless. Look at this. They don't want you to come back into balance. They know there's an abundant beginning monitoring spirits i'm telling y'all be mindful of who you're telling your business to that's what i'm getting because this is what's ahead happily ever after with this divine masculine and somebody is trying to make sure that it don't happen that's the karmic third party Mm-hmm. yep what else Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective. It's all about you, not them. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more. You are their wish fulfillment. Everything that this Divine Masculine wants and needs. And after this confession... From your person, I'm getting that it'll change how you see them and it'll change the doubts, right? Yeah, I'm seeing, look, you're their wish fulfillment. They're very protective of you. This divine masculine does not play about you, divine feminine. Look at that, period. They do not play about you. Look at this. Queen of Cups, beautiful energy, right? They don't play about you. Not at all. Not even a little bit, y'all. I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. As always, I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.